The world is celebrating um, huge progress in renewables and um, also in electrification. So one could think we are on a good track. Now the reality is that electricity is only 20% of final demand. The rest of the 80% are molecules. And even if we double electricity over, say, the next 20 years, at a time when energy demand is still growing, um, this will only take us to, say, 30% of final demand. We will still have 70% coming from molecules, which is the reason why we need to start thinking or accelerate our thinking on how do we, um, how can we produce molecules in a greener and cleaner way. The World Energy Council is an organization that has been founded in 1923. We have been founded to look at sustainability in energy and today we pursue uh, what we call trilemma objectives, so a balance between security, environment and climate in particular issues, and access affordability, so the equity side. Uh, we do that through building a global energy community. We are working with over 3,000 organizations, and we are doing it through developing what we call transition tools, scenarios, a policy ranking, resilience uh, case studies, um, uh, innovation set of inno the best innovators that we can find, but then also an issues monitor that shows what keeps energy leaders across the world awake at night. The climate challenge is the biggest challenge humanity has faced. It's um, it doesn't mean that other challenges are not important. Energy access, we still have a billion people without access. If it costs a thousand dollars, it costs us a trillion theoretically to electrify or bring electricity to all um, those people. Um, the climate challenge is one or two orders of magnitudes higher than this, and that's the reason why we consider it the critical one. Now, we see a global transition driven by what we call the D3, the decarbonization, digitalization, decentralization. Um, this drives dramatic change in the energy sector. It uh, opens a wide space of innovation and new opportunities, and it's those issues that we have to accelerate to ensure we succeed in solving the climate issue. There is multiple examples um, on where the third D, the digitalization, um, uh, has promised to deeply affect um, the way we think about, about the energy system. Um, is it through big data, internet of things, artificial intelligence? Um, the examples um, could be the one of the blockchain, uh, blockchain which ultimately is promised uh, to bring down transaction costs even for smallest transaction and in an increasingly decentralized system. And we're not talking about only the supply side, we're talking about things like your fridge who could become part of the energy system um, if you can switch it off in a central or coordinated way. If you want to actually allow for those micro transactions to be possible, you need low cost transaction and digitalization will exa exactly enable that through things like blockchain, um, smart contracts, um, um, you mix uh, artificial intelligence and other things in that and you have a variety of opportunity to make supply chains more interactive, more cost effective, more um, uh, consumer centric.